I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me. Selah, the Lord. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will I hear from heaven and will forgive them their sin and will heal their land but now being made free from sin and become servants to God. You have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. For we walk by faith and not by sight. We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Train your child in the way that it should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Love not the world or the things in this world. Love one another as I have loved you. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin, he shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. And the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hand. He shall see of the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous servant justify me. For he shall bear their iniquities. Therefore will I divide him a portion with the great. And he shall divide the spoil with the strong. Because he hath poured out his soul unto death. And he was numbered with the transgressors. And he bare the sin of many. And made intercession for the transgressors. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endure it forever. Forsake not the works of thy own hands. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God to them who are the called according to his purpose. For the joy of the Lord is my strength. Not in him that's able to do a seemingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that lies within us. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He lead me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, 
I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, and thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou hast prepared a table for me in the presence of my enemies. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and my cup overrunneth. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noosome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh on you. Only with thy eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil fall upon thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all thy ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder. The young lion and the dragon shall you tremble under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Neither give place to the devil. Resist the devil. Do not be ignorant of Satan's devices. I have taught you your hands to fight and your fingers to war. I have given you the neck of your enemies. Rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen and of these things in which I will appear unto thee delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee to open their eyes and to turn them from the darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me.